In a previous series of videos, we've created an app with two activities, or in other words, two screens, and a menu that allows us to navigate from one to the other. In this video, we're going to see how we can fix kind of a UI issue, which is the screen that we're currently on has a menu option to navigate to that screen. That violates one of the Android design principles, which is only show what I need when I need it. In other words, don't clutter the user's interface. And so what we're going to do is use a trick with Java programming called an abstract class and an abstract method so that the activity that represents an individual screen will be able to identify itself and say, hey, I want you to remove me from the menu bar. Okay, first of all, let's remember that our activities look like this. We have the action bar activity. We extend from that in a, a super class called plant places activity. That doesn't have a layout associated with it, but it's, it's extended by two activities that do. One called GPS a plant, and the other called color capture activity. We're gonna make our changes in this class called plant places activity. So I navigate to plant places activity. And I need to do a couple things. First of all, I need to make this an abstract class. So I add the word abstract. And what an abstract class means is you can't make an object out of me. In other words, you can't call the constructor on this class and get an object in return. You can only get an object by instantiating a subclass. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a new method. And now here's the important part. I'm going to say public uh, int current menu ID. But I'm going to terminate this method with a semicolon. And I'm going to add the word abstract. Now, that's a funny looking method, isn't it? And what that means is we're not providing any behavior to this method. We're not providing any definition to this method. We're just declaring the method signature. We can only do this trick inside of an abstract class. That's the only place where we can put an abstract method, aside from an interface, but for a class, an abstract method must be in an abstract class. The reason is we're defining the signature, but we are letting the subclasses determine how to implement this method. So what's the point? Why not just have those methods in the subclass, not in the superclass? Well, number one, we want that this behavior is specific to the subclass. The subclass is going to have to decide what to respond. But number two, and even more importantly, by defining the method signature at this abstract superclass level, we have an opportunity to invoke that signature. So let's take a look at this. Let's refactor a little bit here uh, on create options menu. We have get menu inflator inflate. And this is taking our menu XML file that we made earlier, one down here, and it is creating a menu out of it. Now, we can do a little bit of uh, trickery here. We can say, we can call that method that we just created, get current menu ID, get current menu ID, we'll let that autocomplete. Okay. In Android Studio, Control Alt V, we'll assign this to a variable. We'll still call it current menu ID, that's fine. Now what we can do is, if we have a menu ID, remove that from or here. In other words, what we're saying here is, this is the menu ID of the current screen. And every, every menu option that we see has a menu ID associated with it. So when we click here, everything we see on the menu or on the action bar has a unique number that identifies what it is. That's what we're getting back here in current menu ID. Uh, the, the number, the unique identifier for the activity that we're in at this point in time, whatever that activity happens to be. So what we can do now is say if current menu ID uh, is not zero, so exclamation equals zero, open curly, close curly, uh, what we're gonna say is menu, that remove item, and then we pass in current menu ID. So we pass in that unique number that we've gotten back from the subclass. 
In other words, the specific activity which is currently being shown on the screen. So I save. Now, we need to fill in some more details here because we have to fill in this get current menu ID method on each of those two subclasses, GPS Supplant and Color Capture Activity. So I go to GPS Supplant and notice suddenly this redlines where it had not redlined before. And why does it redline? Class GPS Supplant must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method get current menu ID and plant places activity. So you see what happens as soon as I create an abstract method in a superclass, the subclass has to decide how to handle that. Alt-Enter will typically give us a uh, suggestion on what Android Studio thinks we should do. I'm going to say implement methods. Okay. And by default it says, okay, I'm going to return zero, but what should it return? Well, let's take a look at that menu. Menu GPS Supplants, GPS Supplant. The menu ID is ID GPS A Plant, GPS A Plant all lowercase. In the back end, Android uh, SDK is turning this key into a number. So let's get that number. So I'm going to say return r.id.gps a plant. And that's going to return the number that uniquely identifies the GPS a plant menu option on the menu. And I save. Let's do the same thing for color capture activity. Again, we get a red line where we didn't have one before. Alt enter, implement methods. Okay. Same in Texas before, we can probably take a lucky guess. R.id. I think we called this one search by color. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, what did we call it? We called this one a uh, capture color. Okay, we called it capture color. So R.id. Capture color. There we go. And that's going to return the unique identifier that represents the search by color menu option. So you see now the search by color screen is returning the ID that represents the search by color menu option. The GPS of plant screen is returning the ID that represents the GPS menu option. Let's take a look and see the new result. So what we're expecting is if I'm on this screen, we will not see GPS of plant in this menu or in the submenu here. And when I go to search by color, we're anticipating that we will not see search by color in that menu either. So let's take a look. Sure enough, as you see now, the GPS of plant screen shows search by color on the action bar. If we click on the menu, we just see settings. There's not an option to go to the currently selected screen. If I click on search by color, of course, we'll go to the search by color screen. And you see here, it says GPS of plant. And there's not a menu for search by color because we're currently on that screen. So at this point, we've met our objectives. We've been able to move, remove the menu option for the current screen from our menu when we're on that current screen. Thanks for watching.